Liverpool won, City nil. Our unbeaten run comes to an end, as it usually does at Anfield. Our annual loss at Anfield is over. All we need to do now is lose at Spurs, and that should be fine. We'll be done for the season. So Liverpool won, City nil. The final score, uh, narrow margins. I mean, when so many talking points. We'll start with the goal. Uh, Mo Salah, unbelievable play from him. Joao Cancelo. Silly defending. I don't know why he's jumping in when one on one versus Salah. Um, so ba- uh, a bad, a bit of a head, bit of a head blag from him. But he's been. I, I can't criticise him. He's been unbelievable this season. I will not criticise Jack Cancelo for making a, a, a just a mistake. That's all it is. It's a mistake. It's a costly one. We've lost the game one 0 and it's his error. But I'm not going to criticise Jack Cancelo. He's been excellent. For City in the season. first half started quite well. For me. We all know what Anfield's like when it be games like this. That it's a it's a electric atmosphere. You've got to go all, all in for an early goal just to quiet them down. We didn't really do that. We had a lot of the ball, but we didn't really make any clear cut chances. Neither did they. Throughout the match, no one had really. Salah had two, well two. One he scored, and one was an unbelievable save from Edison. Um, but on the whole, it wasn't a game of clear cut chances at all. City obviously had a goal disallowed. Um, before I get on to that, Anthony Taylor was all over the place today for both sides. Um, he lost control of that match very early on and it could have escalated into something a lot, lot worse. Kicked off a little bit, but it could have been a lot, lot worse. So on to the goal. Um, disallowed due to Haaland um, tussling with Fabinho and in all honesty, it's a, it's a free kick and it's it's a correctly disallowed goal. Unfortunately, we can't, it can't do that. Fabinho was going down but Haaland, he can't grab his shirt and pull him down. He's, 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 uh, he's a correct decision. Like I said, Andy Taylor was all over the place for both sides. <laughs> Klopp sending off. I mean, he was fuming that Bernardo Silva, that it wasn't a foul. Bernardo Silva rugby tackling more solid to the floor. I can see where he's coming from. He's obviously lost his head, which is out of order. And he's, and he's, uh, yeah, and he's just been Jurgen Klopp, which is... Emotions have got to better him, and he's, and he's been red card. But <laughs> referees shouldn't be making these mistakes for both sides. I mean, it, it could have escalated into something really big that, and it's quite luckily it didn't. But one thing Anthony Taylor did to top it all off, to top off his glorious evening, it really pissed me off. City were on the attack. We're one 0 down. We're going for the equaliser. Anthony Taylor stops the match midway through a City attack, a promising attack, sends Klopp off, wait until the. Wait until it's over. Wait until the attack's finished. Then send him off. Why have you stopped a match to send someone that's not on the pitch off? Just wait five, ten seconds and then do it. It, it really did get on my tits, that. And it just it just typified his game. It, it was just all over the place. It was it was panicked. It wasn't like him. For me, he's the best, he's the best ref in the league. And, uh, yeah, he just really, really he had a shocker. He had an absolute shock. But enough about referees. I'm not blaming any referee for our loss. I'm not making excuses. All I'm saying is he had a, an absolute shocker for both sides. Um, but I want to talk about City. I want to talk about Pep. Um, we played today. Kevin De Bruyne and Ilkay Gundogan were more advanced today. I don't know why. Because the, all season De Bruyne has been playing from a more deeper position. When Rodri breaks up play, it's normally a, a pass into De Bruyne who starts another City attack. De Bruyne was pretty much the first line of the press today, the City press. And as soon as if Liverpool beat the press, Kevin De Bruyne's out of the game. Um, I just I didn't really understand that one. We've not played it all season. Um, baffling decision, to be honest with you. Um, Phil Foden against Milner. Milner did a good job, uh, as did Gomez. It seemed... When Jack Grealish signed for City, all you know, he's been, he's had, um, he's had some critic, which is probably fair. He's not running at defenders anymore. He always turns and passes, you know, picks a simple pass. That's what Phil Foden did today, running at Milner, stopped, played it back, just run at him, run at him. I don't, I just, I didn't. That must be. It's a clear tactic from Pep, because last season he had him on toast. Milner should have been sent off, but I'm watching on that one. Uh, Van Dijk was brilliant for them. Um, Haaland had a good game, but his link up play is really, really good. Um, he had a couple of opportunities. Allison made a good save, but it just—it it wasn't. It was one of them days. 
Anfield. Anfield again. Always Anfield. Anfield and Spurs. But on the whole, um, it wasn't a bad performance at all. Um, one mistake, one goal. What can you do? Sometimes it just it's just football. Um, week off this week. Arsenal have got European commitments. Um, so a week off for us. Our next game is at Leicester next Saturday. So just to finish, um, not disappointed whatsoever with that performance. Um, we're going to next week confident. We've got a week off to recover. I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that we'll bounce back in the best possible way at Leicester. We'll continue to dominate games. We'll continue to make chances, even though we didn't have as many clear-cut chances this afternoon as we normally do. But I'm confident they'll keep coming and coming and we'll um, we'll progress and, uh, and challenge for that league title again. Proud of the boys. And we'll go again next week. See you then.